Hi everyone, this is Rebecca Wilson at NKU's Office of Instructional Design with Mike Lively and today Mike asked me to do one more video on how to actually to get in a little more in depth about how to go ahead and build a structure like we have here with the cabaret room at the Beverly Hills Supper Club. Um, as you can see the flooring is different heights so and also they're different shapes for the sections so I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how to how to uh, go ahead and, and figure that out here on SketchUp. Um, let me go back to my base model which is here. Um, if you watch the other tutorials I went ahead and showed you how to go ahead and build the, uh, the outside walls of this structure of this room and let's see here let's go ahead and turn this on x-ray so we can go ahead and see through the uh, the bottom of the of the floor and the walls here now what I did is basically as you can see the the different shapes here I went ahead and grabbed this pencil tool over here the line tool they call it and I went ahead and basically traced that's all I did is just trace around the shape of each section so I already have these sections over here done and a few over here so I'll go ahead and do the center one with you so you can get an idea of how to do it yourself I'm just gonna do this really quickly um, obviously you'll want to spend more time and be more precise on, on the proportions and shapes so we're just clicking at each point here Okay. Okay. And this will hit the end point there. Okay, so then we have the shape of of that uh section of the floor. So it's easier for me to just work from uh have the the walls and such shaded. So I'm going to go back up here to view and turn it on shaded. Or I'm sorry, turn x-ray off. There we go. Okay. So basically all I've done here is use the extrusion tool. I like to call it the extrusion tool. I'm sure it's called something else. And then all you have to do is click on each plane and then pull up according to, you know, what size or what height each section needs to be. So maybe you want this one to be just as tall as this one so what I did here is I can go ahead and click drag over here and touch the top of the surface of this plane and it'll make them exactly the same height now you're probably wondering how I got these circles in here and really this is pretty easy too once you get the wall structure drawn or once I got the wall structure drawn I just went ahead click the circle and outstretched it to you know whatever width I needed it to be and then the excess that we don't need all you have to do is come in click and hit delete and then you want to make sure you go ahead and click this line here too and delete that and then from there you can also extrude that section up as well and then can go ahead and delete these because we don't need those so yeah basically if you have odd shapes that you can't make out of um, simple geometric shapes like square circle or triangle you're gonna want to go ahead and grab this pencil tool here and trace actually trace the shape and then you can go ahead and manipulate it and alter it um, to get it to look the way that you want it to look okay so that pretty much sums it up for um, building complicated structures like this uh, with different heights of the floor and, and different shapes and such. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you and have a great day.